What's up guys, Hope Gang here, back with a brand new video, and it's going to be a quick tutorial how to port forward. Port forwarding is just, like, if you make a server on Minecraft, people won't be able to connect to it unless you port forward or you, like, host, like, buy a server online. But this is, like, a cheap way to host servers. I'm not going to get to the actually hosting part because it's different for every server that you get. This is how to actually get people to be able to join your server. Say if you make a Minecraft server and people aren't able to join it, this is how you actually fix it and let people actually access your internet to go to the server that's running off your computer so you can use it. It's, it's pretty complicated but this is the way of being able to do this easy way without having to learn all this junk about addresses and everything like that. So you just follow my steps and you'll be able to get through this lickety split. Okay, so if you're on Windows 7 all you have to do is just click down here you know the start menu will pop up just type in CMD and a command prompt should come up and just click that now, uh, I know it's all this high techy stuff for you people out here who don't know a lot about computers, but this is basically, you know, there's lots of commands that you can do that people use, like um, pinggoogle.com, but we're not going to worry about this. I think you can stop. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have to do anything about that. I was just showing you a little demonstration of what the command prompt does, but what you want to do is type IP CONFIG, no spaces, so it'd be IP config, which config means configuration. Now, you're going to see all this stuff on the screen, just, it's okay, just scroll up a little bit, and where it says wireless LAN adapter, or wireless LAN, or um, Ethernet adapter if you're using a cable, but wireless LAN, and you're going to want to find your default gateway here, so it's 192.168.1.1, that's usually it for most routers and things like that, so, you want to keep that here, and we're gonna have we're gonna open up Google Chrome and I have I have some malware on my computer that's why it's opening up in this weird conduit engine um, Internet Explorer works even though you shouldn't be using it it pretty sucks but just open up whatever browser you're using and in this in the search bar you actually want to type that in so there you go and you're gonna hit enter and it's gonna ask you for authentication now this does vary upon what routers you're using I'm using a like a Linksys router. Most routers have the same username and password. If you haven't set one up already, it's usually just admin. Whoops. And then the password is admin also. That works for me. And you should see something similar to this. Uh, AT&T routers are completely different, but you know you can find your way around it. Just look up a a tutorial for your specific router and you will find something right for it. So you're going to click on applications and gaming. Now you have things all similar to this. Now this is my one for Gary's mod. Minecraft 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 was for when I was trying to do port boards for Battlefield 3 because I was getting terrible lag. And that was a long time ago. So uh, so we're going we're gonna to use Minecraft for this one. Now if you go up and type in Minecraft ports or whatever game you're using. So like say um, Arma 2 ports or something. Uh, you'll just see like tutorial set up a server. Now it'll, it'll also give you a whole demonstration how to port forward. But if you um, if you go down here where it says you need a time capsule, where it says change everything to the world port in it to two five five six five. Now um, hold on. Yeah, this is the port for. Minecraft. This is the port that you're going to use. Put in start and the end. There's no other ports you have to type in. Just 25565 to 25565. Make sure it's set on both. Now, this right here is your uh, IP4 address. Now, this changes from time to time, so I'm not going to have to blur it out or anything like that because it's going to change by the time you see this video. And all you have to do is look at your complaint prompt again. That's why I told you to keep it up. An IP4 address. And there it is, that 141. All you have to do is type that in there. Make sure it's set to enabled and press save settings. And then settings are successful. And now all you have to do is have your friends like refresh on Minecraft or refresh on Arma 2 or something like that they're using to get a server. And, um, oh, you gotta find out how to use your, get your IP. So all you're gonna do is type IP chicken. 
to find your actual IP address. Now I'm not going to show this one, but all you have to do is click it and the screen will show up saying your actual IP address. And all you have to do is have them go and type it in directly and they should be in your server. And that's about it guys. Um, if you need any help or anything like that, just comment. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Not a lot of people watch my videos, but I'm the small YouTuber trying to get out there to reach you guys, try to help you guys. I'll make more tutorials soon. I'm making a bunch of videos right now. So if you'd like to help me and get to my goals and get as many subscribers as I can, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please hit the like button. I mean, I want to know people are actually watching these videos and enjoying them and getting some good quality content out of them. So please hit that like button and uh, leave a comment telling me what I did right, what I did wrong. If I want to change, if you want me to change anything, I know the quality isn't the best on this video. I'm using XSplit to record right now, and I'm not really familiar with it yet. I just bought it the other day. So, if you have suggestions, please leave a comment. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, to do all those things I just told you, and have a good day.